Uh, when I arrived yesterday morning at the rally at El Dorado, I, I came early because, well, I had the coffee, and you don't want to not have coffee. I thought I was getting there early. And, and it was so amazing when I got there to see how many people were already there and already engaged, people from the city, people from churches, people from all over our city, already there, set up, ready to go, waiting for people. And, and that was when I thought, man, something Something big is afoot here today. And, and the thing that really spoke to me, the thing that really said to me, we, there's something more than just an event going on, is when I began to talk to some of our project leaders. Those are the people in the blue shirts that you see today. And I realized quickly, this was true of my project leader as well as some others, that, that they didn't start yesterday morning when you got there. I talked to project leaders who showed up on their sites at 6 a.m. to get ready. I talked to project leaders who spent hours and hours and hours the day and days before getting their site ready for you. And I thought, this is not just people responding to something we've asked them to do. This is the beginning of an answer of a fulfillment of a dream and a vision that we have for the kind of people that we are and the kind of impact that we want to have. It was in 2013 that we said definitively that as a church we were going to go outside, that that was part of our DNA. We were going to activate those genes that sent us into our community and shaped our vision around this idea of being known as much for what happens out there as what happens here. And then in 2014, we stepped towards this vision specifically by committing to love our neighbors. And you remember we bought street signs that indicated our recognition that God had put us places where He wanted us to love people and to serve them. And so, so many of us purchased street signs that represented those holy places. And we displayed them in our lobbies for months to remind us as we come in here that what happens in here must impact the world out there. And I go now to people's homes and into their offices and I still see those signs. And it makes my heart so glad. And we talk about our mission here all the time, which is to be formed in Christ for the sake of others. And through that, we plan to bring glory to God. It was then in 2015 that as our people, as you all began to embrace this idea of loving your neighbors, we began to ask the question, how can we touch, how can we impact more than just our neighborhoods, but our entire city and cities? Our vision really is that every person in North Orange County would have a genuine, a positive experience with an authentic follower of Christ. And how can we do that on the scale that's necessary in our cities? And in 2016, we've begun to answer that question with love, placentia. And so I am so deeply grateful for our passionate embrace of this movement. Now listen, it's no coincidence that the answer begins with love placentia. And that's because our vision of impacting cities begins with love. The path to change, to impact, to hope in our cities is built on love. Love. When we're compelled by love, which means God's love, His love for us as well as our love for others, it makes us move. It makes us take those uncomfortable steps, go to the effort to reach, to step, and to move. As Christians, we believe that all of life gets boiled down to that one little statement, what Jesus Himself called the greatest of all commandments which is to love the Lord your God with all your heart. And when we meet God's grace, when we meet God's love in the person of Jesus Christ, it unlocks, it unleashes, it begins this profound love in our hearts for God that becomes the growing center of our lives. And the moment we do that, 
The moment we begin to love God, we begin to take the next step on that journey, which is to love others. Because when Jesus answered that question that was asked of him, what's the greatest commandment of all? He said, love the Lord your God and, and love your neighbor as yourself that they're connected, and that's because love is what makes a difference. Paint is important, right? Landscaping is important. Blankets and food and material needs are important, but it's love that changes the world. It's love that's the only thing big enough and strong enough to help us take the steps necessary to reach to people to bring change. And so, we didn't embark on serve placentia or or help placentia or improve placentia. We embarked on love placentia. And to be clear, when we say love placentia or your Belinda or Fullerton or Brea or La Mirada or any of the other cities where God has placed us, We mean we love the people of our cities. We don't just love the structures. We don't just love the municipalities. We love the people who live there. And when we're compelled by God's love in our lives, it makes us move. And that's what I saw yesterday. At my project, we were at Melrose. We had students. We had 20-somethings. We had old guys like me. I mean, we had this wide range. But you know what else we had? We had people who spoke different languages. We had people from different churches. But we worked together and we accomplished something significant because we were compelled by love. And that love was greater than the things that made us different. When we're compelled by love, It helps us. It makes us move. And we move best when we move together. Together. To impact a city or cities, it takes all of us to fulfill our vision of every person in North Orange County having that genuine experience with an authentic follower of Christ. It requires partnership. And so part of what today is is a celebration of partnership. We're so grateful to our partners in the city in the police department, in the other churches, the other organizations that moved together with us to make Love Placentia possible. Because as a church, fulfilling our vision, it requires all of us. Not doing the same thing, but having the same goal for the sake of others. We move best into the future that God has for us when we do it together. When a people are compelled by love, when they move together, they can bring change to a city. They can bring hope to a city. They can bring life. And that begins by simply acting in ways that meet the needs, that help the causes, that impact the lives of the people who live there. Love expressed in very tangible ways that makes life better for others is a worthy goal all by itself. So because we're compelled, though, by God's love for people, we seek the very best for them, for their children, for their schools, for their lives. The book of Proverbs says this, through the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted. Through the blessing of the upright, a city is exalted. Now, the upright, that's not to be confused with another term for religious people sometimes, which is the uptight, okay? (laughs) This is talking about the upright. You know who the upright are? They're those who genuinely and sincerely follow God, who follow His ways whose faith results in these practical expressions of God's desire for love, for truth, for justice, for peace. The upright. The people that God asks us to be. It's us. And when these people, when God's people, when they provide a blessing, 
in this passage, it's literally talking about speaking blessings over or to the people of a city. But it goes beyond that. It includes the blessing of loving deeds and actions towards people. When God's people, in both word and deeds, provide blessing to a city, do you know what happens? The people of that city are exalted. And you know what that means? They're lifted up. They're lifted up. The truth of the matter is, the people of a city are blessed when God's people get outside of themselves. And that's the vision, that's the mission that we're on here. Because change comes when we act in love and things happen that we don't expect. People get thirsty when the righteous, when the upright, when the people of God live this way. Recently, a friend of mine, she wrote me a story about some of the things that God was doing in her life. They'd moved into a new neighborhood, and they, they'd sensed God's desire for them to, to meet their neighbors, and this happened, and she made friends with a woman, and they became partners. They began to walk together. And in the note that she wrote, she said, over many weeks and months, we've developed a friendship. We've gotten to know each other better. We've exchanged favors and gifts and help. We've, we've learned about each other's backgrounds, weeks and months. And, and she said that throughout this process, all during this time, she was praying and asking for an opportunity to share her faith in Jesus. And then she wrote this a couple of weeks ago, and then this part is in all capitals. She asked me. She asked me about Christianity. We had a 30-minute conversation where I was able to share about my relationship with Jesus. That's what happens. That's what can happen when we live in a way that blesses the people of our city. It makes them thirsty. Because that's our greatest hope, is that people would experience the love of God, the grace of God that comes through a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we know that this is the best path to make that possible. So 2016 is the year where we begin to answer the question, how can we impact our cities? By having an authentic, helping people have an authentic experience with genuine followers of Jesus, by loving our neighbors. Imagine how awesome it will be when neighbors ask you. Imagine how awesome it will be when people come here because of what we did there. Right? Imagine when every neighborhood in North Orange County has followers of Jesus who tangibly love their neighbors in them. Imagine in your neighborhood when a house goes up for sale and your neighbors ask you, do you know any more of those Jesus followers that could move in here? We could use them. <laughs> We're compelled by God's love. We are going to move together and we will make a difference. Pray with me, will you? God, today is a day for us to give thanks, to give thanks to you for the marvelous gift of grace through Jesus Christ, for the friends and partners that have helped us take these tangible steps into our neighborhoods. Our prayer, Lord, is that today would be a marker, a day that we look back on and say, remember when this move of God started. And in all things we trust you, we look forward to being your hands and feet. Guide us, we pray, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you.